Hey everybody, Robert Cheek here. I'm out here in Portland, Oregon. I'm just about to fly to Salt Lake City, Utah to give a keynote talk to 250 people at the Ching Farm Animal uh, Rescue and Sanctuary. Super pumped about that. But before I go to Salt Lake City, I'm out here, like I said, downtown Portland, Oregon, and just had breakfast at the Blossoming Lotus Organic Vegan Cafe with my friend Mike, and he is going to interview me right now about my book. Vegan Bodybuilding and Fitness, The Complete Guide to Building Your Body on a Plant-Based Diet. I don't know if he has had time to think of questions, and I don't know what questions are gonna be asked, and uh, I'm not gonna give him any clues, I'm just gonna say, uh, here you go, I'm gonna pass the camera to you. You've got um, uh, nine minutes to ask me anything you wanna know about my book, go. All right, um, what is the chapter in your book that you're proudest of? Oh, the chapter I... You know, probably the chapter I'm most proud of is turning your passion into a career. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, uh, there's a lot of chapters in there about choosing the exercises that yield the best results, creating a successful training program, creating a successful nutrition program, why vegan, uh, beginning bodybuilding, um, the, the best places in North America to be vegan, this and that, uh, and, and lots of other stuff too. Uh, how, to turn, um, how to turn your vegan bodybuilding success into effective forms of activism and outreach to levels you've never seen before, leading by positive example. But to me, it all comes down to, to passion. What are you pumped about? What do you, I mean, what gets you super excited every day and how can you make that something you do every day for, your, for the rest of your life? I have a really problem with this fraction of, of two sevens. So many people live their life for the weekend, two out of seven days. And it's a concept I've just been thinking about on my own, haven't really talked about it a whole lot lately, but it's a fraction I really have a problem with. Because why, why are we excited when it's the end of Friday, we're like thrilled that it's Saturday, bummed out on Sunday because we know Monday's coming, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we just like dread that? Come on, what if you, what if you find what you're passionate about? Whether it's veganism or something else, or connected to veganism, or it's, you know, that's a part of it, maybe not. But what if you find out what that is, and you make that every day, your, your career? And that's what I've done with vegan bodybuilding. So that's what I'm most proud of, because I was a 120 pound kid when I became vegan. I was 89 pounds as a teenager. People don't know that. People don't, people, a lot of people think maybe I was 200 pounds already and became vegan like a year ago. Are you kidding me? I was 90 pounds before I was going to high school. My basketball team pitcher, my wristwatch is bigger than my head, it seems like, in, in the pictures. I still have these. In fact, you'll see some in the book of, of a really small me. But the reason I say that's the one I'm most proud of is because I, I, work, I work my butt off to, to do that, to go from 120 pounds when I became vegan to 190, when people just laughed at me saying, when I said I was gonna be in Muscle Magazines, that I was gonna compete as a bodybuilder, like, you're right, Are you kidding me? Not only are you super small, you're vegan on top of that. Like, how's that gonna work? And I said, fine, you know what, I'm gonna go for it. And I would train every day, and yeah, sure, the weights were small at first, and I wasn't real big or strong, but I have this insane ability to visualize things in the future and make them real in my life, like make them real in my head. Um, and I don't say this as an arrogant way, but almost everything that I've been able to think of, think up that I wanted to do, I've been able to do. I wanted to make movies, I, I've done that. Then in fact, one's won an award. I wanted to write books. I just wrote three 300 page books. Uh, the only thing I haven't been able to do that really stands out is get a job with the World Wrestling Federation, which is now World Wrestling Entertainment. I worked 13 years towards that, and I got a call from the corporate office, because that's how high I got, and, uh, and they said, you're the guy we're thinking of hiring, and then, you know, a few weeks later, they said, uh, you know, thanks but no thanks, and that's what changed my life forever and got me into bodybuilding. But aside from that, I have this, this weird ability to know what I want to do and work harder than anybody else to get there. Maybe I require less sleep, maybe I care more, maybe I can work 24 hours without even sleeping and I'm okay with that and most people aren't. Uh, I, don't, I don't watch TV, I don't get distracted real easily. So that's why I, I, I say I'm so proud of that one because I, I made a career out of what I cared the most about. So. Nice. Long answer, I know. I'll keep it shorter. <laughs> like, we want time for one more question. Very cool. Um, so, you're like the world's most famous vegan bodybuilder, probably, uh, in my opinion. And I love bodybuilding. You love bodybuilding. Is bodybuilding something you think would be a good recommendation for any vegan? 
absolutely. Bodybuilding should be, bodybuilding to some degree should be on everybody's mind. Not, not just competitive bodybuilding and little posing trunks on stage, but the idea of bodybuilding. Building your body, what does that mean? Stronger bones, better circulation, stronger muscles, tendons that are used to different angles and doing things, less susceptible to injury, um, lower body fat, more fit, uh, better lung capacity, better aerobic conditioning, better overall strength, walking upstairs isn't a chore anymore, it's easy, it's fun. Uh, bodybuilding should be on everybody's mind in that, in that capacity. And you know what? I write about this a lot. Bodybuilding, bodybuilding takes a lot out of you. And, it, and it, it makes you a stronger person. Not just physically because your, your body's adapting and your muscles are getting stronger. It makes you a stronger person. If you're able to stick with something consistently, if you're able to day in and day out, eat what you need to eat, train the way you need to train, and put everything on the line and dedicate to something, yourself to something you care about, you're gonna be stronger in other areas of life. I honestly believe bodybuilding helped me in business, helped me academically, it helped me in relationships, um, and helped me in friendships. It helped me in, in everything because it it made me say, you know what? I've been through a lot tougher things than this. You know, bodybuilding is tough. I've been I've been I didn't miss work for six months. You know, I, I do 900 pound leg presses. I can push myself until I'm vomiting on the floor of the gym, which I've done multiple times. Sorry, 24 Hour Fitness. That kind of stuff. Bodybuilding, I think, brings out the best in everybody. Nice. Um, when you're training. What do you think um, is more crucial, having a clean diet or having focused, intense training in the gym? What comes first? I think heart comes first. Uh, that was an option. You have to care. Why, why exercise? What's, what the heck is the point of exercising? What, to look good? Or to like get some girl or guy interested in you? Or to maybe prevent yourself from maybe a heart, heart issue, heart disease, whatever? Like You have to care. Why, why is intensity important or why is diet important at all if you don't care about why you're doing it? Is it to be a great representative for a movement you care about? Is it because you saw most of your, your family and relatives suffer from obesity and illness and all this other stuff? Is it because you're overcoming an injury and you have to do rehab? Um, what are you doing in the gym? That, that's, that's where I say it starts. Check in right here. Check in right here and then check in right here and say, okay, how much does it mean to me? And then how hard am I going to work? And that's and that's where you go. And intensity is huge, and, and diet is huge. But obviously, we've seen that people can be in incredible shape on the outside with very poor health. Some of my really good friends in the bodybuilding world having triple, quadruple bypass heart surgery in their 30s or 40s because of they look incredible out here, but in here they're not very. You know, the diet wasn't there. So that that's huge too. But the time we got one minute left okay and <laughs> make sure you stop it before 10 yeah <laughs> like 9 50 okay go I'll do the last question let's go okay last question I had something and I forgot what it was it's because I yap too much um what do you aim to do with your book in one minute or less I hope I hope to inspire people to believe in themselves and to believe in what they care about the most and, and just to work their tails off uh, to show how much it really means to them I want people to be inspired, that's all. I want people to change their life and inspire other people to change their lives and together we change the world. And that's what it's all about. All right, cool. Thank you, appreciate it, thanks for watching. Boom. <laughs> Sweet, dude. That's not exactly. Oh, it's, yeah, oh, it's still rolling. Oh, no. <laughs> see, we can just press up here. Oh, I pressed the, the top button. Uh, oh, see, the top one just makes uh, a photo, so we're still rolling. Now, now awesome. I can see both of us. Well, um, now that we do still have a few seconds, um, thank you. Thank you, Mike. Thanks for having me on. Thanks for having me here. And um, good breakfast today. Uh, I got to go to Salt Lake City. But thanks, everyone, for watching. Please check out the book. Um, I, I just hope it, it touches a lot of people and saves a lot of lives and gets people fired up about life. And that's, that's what it's all about. It, it, enjoy that fraction of seven sevenths rather than two sevenths, all right? It's a lot better. It's five more sevenths. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, anyway, we're going to sign off in Portland. We got to go. Have a great day. Thank you. Enjoy.